Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I've just been uh, putting up some pictures today. Have a look what we've got here. We've got Clinton Woods, Ryan Rhodes, me, uh, with my old rope chain. Bunce, Steve Bunce, me and Dennis, uh, bottom of his uh, garden in Jersey, September 2017, there's one here, 2015 Easter, so uh, where's that one at? 2015 April, uh, Earl of Stafford, Oton Roberts. So I've still got me. I've still got that same tracky. I've had it took in a bit. Me, Robin Reed, uh, and Dave Allen. Uh, 2016 August. Robin with 14 stone. That is 12 stone now. Uh, Rick Manor's show, Brad Watson got beat that night in Leeds. Uh, I think that's one of Danny Kennedy's team. My good friend Danny Kennedy. Uh, me and Peter Fury. Uh, August 2016. Uh, I bought some trainers I think that morning. Uh, Porky's Corner, Paul Stewart, Nick Lurgott. Let's have a look what else we've got here. Me, Amir Khan, Peter Fury, me, Asif Valley, me and Ryan Rhodes. Terry Fox sent me this, the Turpin Brothers and Joe Lewis. So. Me and the Cobra at Savas, is it Italian, in Nottingham, a week after Frot Groves won. I was about 23 stone then, I was 5 stone into my gastric. <laughs> I lost 5 stone in 8 months, in just under 8 months. Uh, me and Rachel Frotch, Carl Frotch's wife, uh, Carl Frotch's in Nottingham, 2015 is it, 2015, yeah 2015, I've still got that top, that easy top, the Cobra, look at this here, Carl Frotch, Jermaine Taylor, Frotch Groves, Frotch Groves, I was there, I was somewhere around here, ringside, sat behind Andy Lee and Yui Fury. Uh, Carl, oh, Mick Ennis's, Mick Ennis's, uh, stables, Tyson Fury there. Uh, that's just before Tyson Fury's debut actually, that. Uh, Carl Frotch were just a British champion then. I think he had a golf then. R32 golf. <laughs> uh, my uh, friend who lives uh, not far from me, Howard Foster. He got death threats over that stoppage. George Grove, 17 unanswered punches. Me and Ingram Jones, he owns a, a channel. Uh, Bayloric TV, BWM TV is it, a uh, good boxing man, good coach, likes, do, does cricket as well, nice guy Ingram, uh, sometimes in boxing people uh, have disagreements uh, and it has a knock on effect but I always respect Ingram, he gave me encouragement to set my own channel up and he's a good boxing bloke. Me and Tyson. August 2016, he's come a long way, hasn't he? Last three years. Uh, he came in that day to help Peter out with some sparring. 
Me and Dennis at my house, 2015, Christmas. Uh, on Dennis with Santa Claus. Uh, me and Robin Reed, 2016, as you can see, Tyson in the background. With, is it Con Sheenan? I think. I think it's Con Sheenan, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's Frank Smith, my good friend from Berry. Right then, so we just had a bit of a wander about there. I'm going to finish this video now. <sighs> so, right, here we go then. Uh, basically, I just want to. I want to talk about Josh Whale. We're going to do this as part two. I've done a bit of filming as regards Josh uh, coming into office this morning. Uh, Josh Whale, right. 30 wins, 11 losses, 2 draws, right, that could easily be turned into 37 and 6, very easily, you could maybe turn it into 38 and 5, I can see 39 and 7 at the worst, but when you're the B side, is it, no, not 30. That would be 46, wouldn't it? Sorry, sorry. Uh, I, could see, I could easily see it turned into 37 and 6, 43. 30. 43, 5, 7 off that. 36 and 7. I could see it turned into 36 and 7, Joshua's record. I can see it 37 and 6. Uh, but Josh Wales been the B side all his life, hasn't he? Apart from since he's come with us, right? It's always been B side. Uh, he's a big ticket seller. He's a, he's a TV. He's, he's what we call in industry a TV fighter, right? He comes forward, pressure fighter. He leaves it in the ring, right? He don't cut corners in the gym. He don't drink, he don't smoke, he don't take drugs, he don't party pop. He don't mess about with the women, he's a family man. But yet, I have people having a little pop at me sometimes when I come to Josh's defence. Uh, why that is, I don't know. Is it a society problem that Josh don't go on Twitter and he's not funny like David Allen or he's not... He doesn't say things controversial, I don't know. I say things controversial, don't I, because I come from a, an industry where people have, what's the word, I can't explain it, where people are pretty stand on. That's the industry I come from. That's the, that's the, grow, that's the grown up version of where, where I'm from. My dad were a coal miner, so people have a bit of pride about themselves, don't they? they don't, Stabbing it back, does it? Now, people can say, yeah, but you've stabbed Steffi Bullet back, Russ. How have I stabbed him in the back? How? How have I stabbed Steffi Bullet in the back? How? Josh Wales' contract were up in June. He came to Dennis in April. He never fought till a couple of days after his contract would have ended anyway, so I don't. Nobody stabbed anybody in the back. His contract was coming to an end, and I made a move. Now, I made a move, and there's a better deal put together with, from Dennis Hobson's Fight Academy. There's a better deal on the table for Josh Whale and his dad than anybody else we're offering. Dennis is local, isn't he? South Yorkshire. Josh Whale, South Yorkshire. Dennis Hobson's got TV. He's got experience of going by British level. Now, Steffi Ball got Josh Whale a British title, that's great. But what are you doing going to France? They made a decision, it didn't work out. They tried to correct it with Brad Foster, it didn't work out. 
you know, it's move on, get over it. Look, if people want to abuse me on fake accounts because of that, so be it. So be it. It's not taking its toll on me. If anything, it's it's worked out all right for me. Uh, what I did yesterday, I put a video out on live chat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the you know where you can leave writing on right hand side, uh, not live chat. What do they call it now? People keep calling it live chat to me. Whatever it is, the video comes out and people can leave comments in the comment section while my video is playing. Now, I counted nine different accounts coming out with sexual things, abuse about drugs, and people wanting me to slash my wrists, crash my car, violence issues and I don't know, I basically had one I've had one thing off a guy he sent me this sent me this in. I'm gonna read this out to you. This is from the guy called Alien. Right, listen to this. I'm gonna read this out to you, let me know what you think. Yo Porky, I just want to start off by saying sorry. I said some stuff ages ago I wouldn't dare say to your face. I was catching feelings when you was talking about Tyson Fury. So I said some nasty stuff about your weight, saying you hate Tyson because he lost the weight naturally and you got an operation. But I was just trying hurt you. Don't actually mean that. And to be honest, it was the other trolls that made me feel like doing it. I jumped on the bandwagon like a clown, but hey, I'm only human. And I'm seriously proud of you for kicking drugs and hope you'll never, ever, ever even think of drugs again. You had your fun, now it's time to live and be happy with your family. I know this message is pretty weird, but I recently became a hardcore boxing fan and now really appreciate your channel. I'm absolutely sick of sporting icons and hat man sucking off Eddie at any, ch at any chance they can get. So I just want to say thanks for all the videos and keeping it real, you're one in a million. And being real is so rare these days. I did scroll to find my stupid comments to delete, but I think they've gone already. No need to reply anyway, it's just i seen in the live today some trolls keep making lots of accounts and it's really pathetic. And when you, you said what they sent about your kids, I was seeing red because that's out of order. So just thought I'd come say big up Porky, you're the man, no hard feelings. Uh, that's from Alien, 16th of December, 21st of 45. Sorry, 21.45, is that quarter to ten in it? Uh, whether he's trolling or not, I don't know. I think he seems pretty genuine. Look, don't really bother me, mate. Uh, I did that yesterday because I wanted to show somebody who's coming on board to help with channel. What exactly I have to put up with, because he was saying to me, this guy, I like your channel and that, but I think you're overreacting to some of the things that are said on the comment section. So I said to him, well look, I'm gonna put there's some comment section on live, the live comments, and I'll let you have a look, and then get back to me. So he understands what, I'm, what I have to see now, and. Sometimes it can play on your mind, but generally I'm a pretty strong-willed person because if you can go through all them years in prison and solitary confinement and then go through drug addiction, heroin drug addiction, not you know having a sniff, a sniff of cocaine, you know once every two or three weeks, me amazed. We're talking 150 pound a day, seven gram a day heroin. But people go on about me for talking about it because. 
I, uh, I shouldn't really, but I'm trying to get it out of my system and it's coming to end now, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if you... I don't know if anybody's seen me... Uh, I had that chart, didn't I? Uh, I had a chart and uh, I'm up... I'm about probably six weeks from completing my me, me, me detox, my me tablets. It took me... Uh, it probably took me nine and a half year. <laughs> it's a long time, isn't it? But anyway, it's not for me, is it? Uh, so I don't really have any battles with drugs now. I could take cocaine or leave it, but anyway, it was something I needed every day. So I want to put that to bed. Uh, as for the comments, if you abuse me, there's loads of words in it. They all go to a comment cell for review, so I'll check them once in a while. So don't worry you said if you've said something across. Once you've said it, you've said it, you have to be accountable, don't you? But you apologise and that's fair enough. And if we've made a, a follower out of you, I'm not going to say a fan because I think it's cringe. If we made a follower out of you, I think that's brilliant. Uh, there is nice people on social media. Uh, somebody's just sent me an email. Uh, they've offered, well, there's... They've offered to buy me a night track suit, a night track suit, and a pair of night trainers. Thank you very much. I'm an XXL, or is it XL? I'm between an XL and an XXL, and a size A. But you don't have to do that. <laughs> in in. No, but it's nice when people want to do things like that. Uh, uh, getting back to Josh Whale. Look, I'm going to get stick on it because. Josh is not with somebody, is he? Steffi Bull, and they're going to keep setting up accounts because that's what Steffi does, isn't it? So we put the live comments on in between his gym sessions so he can dart home and comment back. But then live comments don't really mean much to me now. Now I've got this certain person and I've showed him what goes on and he understands it a bit better and feel like I've got a bit of closure on that. And this is good for me as well to do this. This is really good for me to do this because if I weren't doing this now, I would be out of my head somewhere and going out wasting money and instead of doing constructive things with the money, I'd be wasting it when you can spend it on your family, can't you? So, but if you have good people around you, like I've got Dennis around me, Mick Whale, Kev here, giving me advice all the time. AJ Hobson at Innovation Alloys, all people that are helping me, Mick Whale helping me get a bit of focus, doing a bit of training in gym and if the Spencer fear and fight happens, brilliant. You know, we can put it on the channel and whatever money's raised, I can put I can do a screenshot off the screen and just show you all. It's pretty easy. Uh, pretty pretty easy look. Now you can see a screenshot of what each video makes. Uh, for example, uh, for example, if we go pick a video, let's pick a certain video. Uh, let's have a look at this video here, I was, and this is how I how I do it. Uh, what I'd do, I'd film me and Spencer fighting in one of Jim's up here. We'd film it on channel, put it on here, and then fans can see how much money the video makes in, say, a month. And it, it comes up here onto analytics. And, uh, once it's up on your analytics, uh, it tells you how much it's raised. Uh, for example, uh, oh God, that's not very good, is it? That one there. <laughs> Have a look. Let me just put this here and I'll show you. I'm feeling embarrassed showing you this, but like I said, there's no, uh, there's no money in it, is there? <laughs> right. See this one here. This video is the. I forgot what it's called now. Let's pick a video, let's pick a video. Look, 16 pence. 
16 pence and it's 219 views and he's done 16 pence so do the maths it's not it's not it's not very glamorous is it uh, not very glamorous at all but like I said it's uh, I'm not exactly a businessman at here am I doing uh, doing Porky's Corner I'm not exactly businessman at year but what we'll do obviously if summit videos like the one at helmet one of the helmet ones it depends what ads you have sometimes because it's an helmet one YouTube will put better ads on with it you could get I don't know 1500 views on a helmets of the month and you might do two or three quid on it so if you got 15,000 views you might do 30 quid if, if we got 150,000 views might do 300 quid so I'd like to think that me and Spencer Fearing could do 150,000 views and if it says on there 300 quid well we'll, we'll screenshot it and then I'll just forget, I'll do what I did with that clothing line K official gave me money and I give it to Josh Whale there were no money, there were no untoward uh, if you get your word on something, that's usually it, innit? you see it through but, but getting back to Josh Whale he's a great kid to work with Dennis keeps saying to me, they're so easy to work with these with whale fight look, we're all having a whale of a time me, Mick, Dennis, Josh Dempsey you know, they're all great people, even the shows that they put on with Chester does MC work, Mick's wife Gail does hot dogs with Dempsey's girlfriend, they all walk in, the Gwyn comes with the kids and they all watch it, they're pretty tight knit but they're great people to work with, just like when I went to London they looked after me didn't they, Mark Tibbs and Jimmy Tibbs and people at Peacock Gym, proper good Look, proper people aren't they? If, uh, for example, if I like to think I'm like that. If you ask Terry Chapman Dharma, he comes up here and I look after him, he comes up here. We, he's our guest, isn't he? You know, he's a boxing man, isn't he? Uh, I li listen to his podcast, the beautiful, pod the beautiful Boxing Podcast, at Highfield Boxing on Twitter all good stuff, he knows his stuff, he's close mates with Dennis the thickest thieves as regards boxing, they're on the same page Terry's a straight shooter just like us uh, but getting back to Josh Whale there's going to be an announcement regarding Josh all being well on Friday at 12.30 and it's all looking good moving forward I'm hoping that everybody's going to say wow Josh wins in February, that's, the, gonna, that's who he's going to be fighting in summer, wow. And then when they see where he's going to be fighting at, they're going to be like, wow. So it's all to play for in 2020. Dennis has delivered so far, Josh Whale's delivered. Don't forget, it's Josh Whale in that, in that gym training hard. And in that ring, he's the one exchanging the blows and putting the effort in. And he's already been through all this so many times, but he's been let down by its system, Josh Whale. And I find that hard to stomach because somebody like Anthony Joshua, he's had everything given him, hasn't he, because of how he looks. Oh, he's got a great story. What a drug dealer going around bashing junkies up. Well, he got free gifts at Olympics, and then he got gifted an IBF, didn't he? Then he got a Vladimir and old man, Parker Povetkin, Ruiz, gifts. The first Ruiz fight were a gift, but you know he got knocked about, didn't he? The second one, that were a gift, and Ruiz couldn't the know. He's going to be protected now, Joshua, but not here to talk about Joshua in this video. We're here to talk about Josh Whale. He's on the right path, and he is close to doing something that. It's going to shock boxing. It's going to shock boxing. This is how I look at it, right? 
If Stewie Hall can win a world title, Josh Whale can win one and defend one. That's how I look at it. Better fighter, he'll last longer in game, better person, just all round better, better person. Like I said, I'm proud to be part of Team Whale with Mick and you know, Sean and Josh and Dennis, I'm proud to be on board with them. It's new to me all this, coming from somebody that just used to go on boxing forums years ago. You know, Carl Frotch gave me the, not incentive, but the, in, not initiative, what's the word? He just said you've got to go for it. Got, you've got to go for it, get your gastric band sorted and just go for it. There'll be an opening for you. And I found an opening, I couldn't get an opening with Barry Earn and Frank Warren. So I got one with Dennis. You've got to go out there and grab it with both hands. And pick everybody's brain along lines. Look at people's brains I've picked. Steffi Ball, Chris Smedley, all good boxing people. Glyn Rhodes, picked all the brains. But it's all out there for you. If you've got drug problems out there, go and get help. It's all there. Go get help, get on the right medication, get help, and get yourself right. If I can go from big, big fat heroin addict, 28 stone, had a reaction to methadone, bloke like a balloon, if I can do that and then get down to 15 and a half stone, isn't that good? And be clean of heroin, isn't that good? If people want to abuse that, well, all I've got to say to them people is, come on the channel, let's talk on Face Talk. If I can get Dennis on FaceTime in Finland and put it on channel, I can get you on FaceTime, all you trolls, can't I? Hey? Instead of you sending me tweets, talking utter... You know what I mean? That's what you talk. So, but other than that, everything's alright. The videos are going out tonight, 7pm and 7.30. And that comment section took right. I want you to all leave a comment. I'm going to be answering them. Anybody who wants to come on and start with your stupidness, I'm just going to press a button and then you disappear. But I don't ban you forever, I'll just ban you for five minutes. Alright? So, because nobody wants to see that, you're going to spoil it for, for everybody else. The fans who do want to talk and interact, you know. You're spoiling it for him. Dennis will be looking on there tonight to comment. Josh and Mick Whale, hopefully. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send them a, a thing now and say, seven o'clock while eight o'clock go on channel and interact with you guys now. But the, you, you people don't listen to you serious trolls. I've really got into your heads, are not I? I'm renting, I'm renting airspace in your heads, are not I? Then it's 7 p.m. tonight while 7.30. Then, then that comment section I showed you last night on right hand side. Then it's 7, 7 p.m. tonight while 7.30. That comment section that I showed you on right hand side of my channel. You'll be able to go on there. Sarah will show you how to do it and comment and interact with fans who what might want to ask you about Josh Whale and, and what's next. Obviously we're not going to tell them uh, who the opponent is and where it's going to be, you know, after the Barnes and Metadon one, but obviously we, we can interact with them and I'll just send this to Mick and uh, Josh as well and they'll, they might want to come on and interact with them. So it's all good, isn't it? So, alright mate, cheers. See what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get Josh a bigger profile and I can't do it without help from the boxing fans, ah, if we can put 100 tickets on Josh's gate when he fights at Barnes and Metrodome, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Oh, Pokey, what are you doing? Oh God, that's bad that. We don't want him to sell another 100 tickets. Well, why not? Why should Dennis lose thousands of pounds every show and Steve Crump? when we can try and get Josh's profile a bit bigger and try and sell more tickets on the show, isn't that good? Is that a good thing? I'm, 
That must, that's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? And I'm doing that for free here. 